this is something that came up recently in the forums, in the community forums. Somebody was wanting to do a survey question and like this example we can see here uh, to provide an option, an answer option for other with the ability to enter some other answer other than just the ones that are provided. So just wanted to walk you through that real quick and show you how you can do that in Articulate Storyline. So let's jump over there and take a look how we can set that up. So basically what we're doing here is we have two questions. The other part of this was they wanted to record both the standard answer and the other answer if they type in an additional answer they wanted to record that value in the LMS as well so that's sort of the the unique requirement here so obviously one really simple way to do that is to split those into two separate questions so here you can either pick a provided color or go with other and then on the other page you could collect the the typed in additional answer but that wasn't exactly what they were trying for. They wanted that to look and function as if it was just a single question. So we've got all the elements here. Multiple choice question, a text entry, and then there's just sort of a results slide to, uh, to report that to the LMS. So what we're going to do is basically two things. First, I added a layer here that is set to be triggered by the selection of that other item and I've just added a text box on this second layer and that's going to be if the other option is selected that's going to give them a place to enter that so that it appears to be seamless and uh, it's all going to work off of a single slide and as I mentioned there's two simple triggers here to work off the state of that other option. We're just going to show that other layer if that answer is selected. In this case it's button 4. And we're going to hide that layer if they change their mind and, and choose a different answer. So that's sort of getting it all onto one slide. And the second piece of this is being able to pass that text value over to the second question and then skip over it to the result side so that it all appears to be a seamless single question sort of function. And so the next step is to pass the value from our text entry box on this slide over to the survey text survey question that will be able to record that in the LMS. So we just have two simple uh, conditions here. Uh, again, it's conditional on whether or not that other option has been selected. So if the other option is not selected, it's just going to pass a value of basically blank. It means they've made a different selection and didn't enter any text, but we've got to pass something over to that text entry value so that it doesn't give us uh, an error when we submit it. On the other hand, if that other state is selected, we're just going to take the value they enter in the first text box and pass it over to the next slide in the second text box. And then the last thing to make it all seamless and transparent, since we've passed a value to this, we don't really need to do anything to it and we can just skip it. So we've added a submit interaction trigger to automatically happen when the timeline starts which gives us the effect of skipping over it and continuing on. So if we go ahead and preview that we can see what that looks like. Here's our question. You can see the triggering of the other box based on our selection. Then we can enter our value here. What That's going to get passed to our second survey question and then skipped and we can see that in action here and there you go it's basically combining two survey questions into one and giving us the functionality that we're looking for